Okay, so welcome back to part six. In this video, we're going to actually start adding in the content into all of the, the divs that we've actually created. So if I open up Photoshop, here's the, uh, the product layout. So the next stage is we're going to start adding in the content in the actual billboard itself. Okay, so if we open up Visual Web Developer, and if we go straight to our master page, if we just go to design view for a second, and as you can see, this is the layout uh, that we've created so far, and it's this billboard section in the middle that we were going to be concentrating. So the first thing you want to do is actually click inside of the, the div for the billboard content. If we go to source view, we want to be putting our code into here. So the first bit of code that we're going to be adding is this here. So we're going to be using a h3 tag and this is the, the text that we're going to be putting inside. So if we just go back to design view, as you can see it's added the, the text in right at the top. If we just go to our Photoshop design, and if we zoom in, as you can see this is the text here and all we need to do now is just to style it to look like that. So if we go back to Visual Web Developer and we go to our style sheet and go right to the very to the very bottom where it says typography and I'm just going to copy and paste some of the code in to save a bit of time. So we're going to be styling the H3 tag we're going to give it the Vedana font the font weight we're taking the bold off so we're just going to give it normal the colour is 7F8489 the font size is size 16 pixels and I've given it some margin on the top of 20 pixels to bring it down slightly so if we now save the page go back to the master page and as you can see now the uh, the text has now changed to how we want it to be like in our Photoshop design if we just go back as you can see it looks more like that now okay so the next stage is to do the little bit of text underneath so if we go back to our third, uh, back to Visual Web Developer, go to Source, and then underneath, if we add in the following code, and again we need to style that. So if we just go to our style sheet, drop in the H4, click on Save, and go back to our design view. And as you can see, it's now changed the text to resemble our Photoshop document. Okay, so now that's sorted, we need to concentrate on this big image here. So first of all, we, we need to cut this out of the Photoshop document and, and get it as a PNG file. And as you can see at the image itself, we've got a little gradient sort of shadow along the bottom. So we need to grab the actual image and the gradient on the bottom. So to do this, what we need to do is a tip, a trick that I use up here where it says auto select. You want to put a tick in the box for auto select. And then for the little drop down, you want to select layer. Now what that will do, whichever part of this document we click on, let's just say this icon here, on the right hand side it jumps straight to that left straight to that layer so if I click on say this button as you can see it jumps straight to the the layer there so we want to be concentrating on this one so it takes us straight to the layer if we just bring that down a little and as you can see the the little shadow underneath is actually the layer below it so if you hold down the alt key and click on this layer everything disappears and if you just click the one underneath the shadow does actually it does appear but obviously you can't see it at this minute so if we just bring all the layers back okay so if we click on the the layer that we want it will select it we ne now need to click click on the selection tool and draw an outline around the image like so and then let go so the next thing we do we need to get rid of all the other layers in the document just hide them for a second so if we press hold down alt click on the I tool next to that icon next to the HV designs layer and then we need to select the little shadow underneath click on click on edit copy merged file new 
click on OK. And if we click on Edit, Paste, that now pastes the image into the document. So as you can see, we've still got the, the little shadow around the whole image. But what we need to do is click on Background, click the little eye icon, and that removes it. It's now transparent. If we now click on File, Save for Web and Devices, and then what you need to do, you need to select PNG24 up here, and that basically takes off all of the white background and gives it transparency. So if we select JPEG, as you can see, it adds it back on. So PNG24, click on Save, and we'll call this Bill Board Main. Okay, that's now saved, so we can get rid of this. If we now go back to Visual Web Developer, okay, so we now need to add this image into the document. So for time, I'm just going to copy and paste the code in. And as you can see, it's now added that in. So if we just preview this in a browser, and as you can see, that's now added it in, and we have the, the nice shadow and the little gradient sort of shadow underneath. If we just come out of this for a second, go back to our Photoshop design. If we hold, press Control D to deselect, and just right click on one of the icons, that brings all the layers back. So as you can see from the, the Photoshop document, that this image comes down a lot more than ours does. So we can we can fix that. Okay, so if we go to Visual Web Developer, uh, as you can see, this is we've added the image in. So we need to give this an ID. So if we call this Bill Board Image, save that, and then we need to create the CSS for this. So to save a bit of time, I'm just going to copy and paste it in. So if we go to our style sheet, what I like to do, I like to keep my styles and my markup in like an order. So obviously this bit of code is inside of the billboard content. So if we go to our style sheet and go all the way back up towards the top, you've got billboard content. So if we just drop it underneath here, it's just easier to read. So billboard image, and we're using this uh, property here called position relative. So what this will do, it will actually move it um, from the top 30 pixels. So if we just save the page, go back to the master page, and if we preview this in a browser, as you can see now it's actually moved down and it's just, it's basically breaking out of its div and uh, coming down into the div below just like our Photoshop document so if I just move that to the side bring up Photoshop and there you go as you can see that's now coming down and we've got the same effect on ours as well just to show you the kinds of things you can do with the position relative property if I just bring all these windows back to where they were and if we go over to our style sheet, if we add in, say, the property left, and we said 400 pixels, the billboard image now is going to shift over 400 pixels. So if we go back to the browser, if we now refresh the page, it now moves all the way over to here. So it's quite clever and the thing, things you can do with CSS. So obviously we don't want it there. If we come out of this, stop debugging, take the left property off, save that. Okay, so if we go back to Photoshop, the next things we need to do are grab these little icons here. So if we just zoom in. And again, what we'll do is if we expand this again, if we click on the icon that we want, it jumps straight to it. So if we select the icon, like so, and then click on the little eye tool, hold down Alt, 
everything disappears click on edit copy merged file new and then if we do edit paste and again if we take off the transparency do file save for web save as a PNG again and we'll call this people icon click save if we just view all the layers again and then the next one will be this one here If we hide all the layers, do edit, copy merged, file, save for web and devices. There's our icon, click on save, and we'll call this save upload. Next icon will be this one hide all the layers edit copy merged file new remove the background save for the web We'll call this graph icon. Don't need that now. And then the final one is the email reply. Copy merged, file new, paste, I just did control V to paste that in, remove the background, save for the web, and we'll call this email icon. Okay, so that's it for this, uh, this video. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel uh, to get updates for my other videos and uh, leave any comments and uh, like this video. Uh, that would be great. Thank you.